So hear now these words. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love, something older than humanity, more ancient than a desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life and that with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There's only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one dreams would have no meaning. Quinn, we made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're here together. Um, I'm going to make you a lot of promises today, but the one thing I will not promise is that I remember this speech. <laughs> Since the very beginning, when we met in the suites at UNCW, I might not have realized it then, but you were going to become my soulmate. You captivated my attention and with it my heart. From the suites, to Dr. Atkins' English class together, <laughs> to living one floor apart from each other in the Seahawk Village, to moving to Riceville Beach together when we were always within a bike ride away. We loved each other, and we, we grew together, and we figured out exactly how to love each other, especially. Now, it wasn't always this easy. No. <laughs> We made a hard decision, but we made it together when we graduated and we moved to 206 Goldenville, Kumami Dong, Jeonju, South Korea, <laughs> in those little 10 by 10 square apartments uh, with their broom closet bathrooms and their mini refrigerators. Uh, we grew together. We loved together. We laughed together. We fought together. We cried together. We became adults together, apart from everyone else. We miss our family together and we miss our friends together. But we learned how to love each other even more than we did before. When you left for Sri Lanka, when we left Jeonju, I knew I never wanted to be apart from you again. And we know how that turned out. <laughs> yeah. Because we trust each other and we embolden each other and we encourage each other to go after our individual dreams because we know if we achieve them, we're going to become stronger together. You moved to Boston, I moved to Denmark, and we put on a great long distance performance. And now we stand here in front of all of our friends and all of our family. And I'm here to promise you that I'll love you forever. I'll love you through the good times and the bad. I'll be the best husband I can be for you forever. I promise to take care of you when you're sick and when you're well. I promise to be your rock through the good times and the bad. I promise to be there for you and to uplift you and to respect you always. I promise 
to read books with you forever, <laughs> especially Harry Potter. I promise to watch really bad TV shows I with you, <laughs> especially if it's Nikki. <laughs> I promise always to look after you and to hold you first. I love you forever until the end of time. Let's continue our journey together right now. William, nine years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The funniest, most loving, compassionate person I have ever met. The moment we met, I was instantly drawn to you. From our first interactions, I was completely comfortable and totally myself. And while I was convinced you were just my friend, <laughs> you saw what I couldn't and you never stopped fighting for us. In the years since, we've grown up together, laughing, learning, exploring, and growing. We decided what we believed and valued and who we wanted to become. And through all those years apart, you showed me that distance means nothing and that you are my home. Thank you for always fighting for us. Being here today makes every bit of the wait worth it. William, today I promise to love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I vow to encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I vow to laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to admire and appreciate you for who you are as well as the person you will become. I vow to continue to learn, even if that means we have to eat my horrible cooking. <laughs> I promise to never stop exploring with you and laughing the whole way. I promise to share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I promise not to keep score, even if I'm totally winning. <laughs> I promise to persevere when times get tough, knowing that any challenges we might face, we will conquer them together. I vow to be your partner, your friend, and your lover today and every day. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and I dare to dream more than I ever have. You are and always will be the love of my life, my soulmate, and my person. And I am excited and happy and honored to be your wife. Now that William and Quinn have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. It is now my privilege and my honor to introduce to you for the first time Mr. William and Mrs. Quinn Cox.
but I can't imagine anybody that has seen it for a while. The love and sense of adventure that you guys bring out in each other, it's inspiring. And anybody that spends a moment with you too knows that. I don't know where else you guys are going to travel. You've been to more places than I can name off the top of my head. Maybe the moon, 2019. <laughs> <laughs> All I do know is that no matter where the team can go, it'll be full of smiles, laughs, and a lot of love. were definitely meant to be. If you watch them, they consistently look at each other with love and kindness. They do more than just tolerate each other. They embrace each other's quirks and their corniness. I can't wait to see what next adventures have for these two, and I'm so happy I could be a part of each step of this journey. Will, you're up for any adventure. You're loyal, you're kind, and you fit into our family perfectly. I'm so happy for you two. You guys have grown together through the years, from skipping class in Wilmington and going to the beach, to living in, the, sorry, did you guys not know about that? Okay. <laughs> um, to living in South Korea, totally different culture, continent, to then living on different continents from each other. You guys have grown to love each other and know how to love each other, and you've built an incredibly strong foundation for your marriage. I'm really happy to welcome you to the family, Will. And to be the first to tell you, I can't wait to kick both your butts in couples game night. 